Welcome to Chapter 3 of our story, where the heart of the village square becomes the stage for a tale of courage and unity. The cobblestones glisten with the remnants of evening dew, and the air is thick with anticipation. The sun casts a golden hue over the gathering, illuminating the vibrant marigolds adorning the altars. Join us as we delve into the lives of Sophia, Diego, and Isabella, who stand resolute against the looming dark force. Stay tuned as their journey unfolds, revealing the power of storytelling and the strength of community. This is Storyteller, bringing you tales that bridge the gap between the living and the dead. In the heart of the village square, Sophia stood with her long, dark hair cascading like a waterfall down her back. The air was thick with anticipation, a palpable energy that crackled like the vibrant marigolds adorning the altars. As the sun dipped low, Casting a golden hue over the gathering, Sophia's friends stood by her side. Diego, with his tousled hair and mischievous grin, and Isabella, whose gentle demeanor was accentuated by the flowers woven into her flowing locks, formed a tapestry of courage. Together, they were woven from the threads of their shared memories, ready to face the looming dark force that threatened their village. As the shadows lengthened, the dark force loomed, a swirling mass of despair that threatened to engulf the village in silence. It whispered the fears of the villagers, echoing their doubts and insecurities. Yet, Sophia felt a flicker of defiance ignite within her. She remembered her grandmother's tales, vibrant and alive, and knew that the power of their stories could illuminate even the darkest corners of despair. We must stand together. Sophia's voice rang out, clear and unwavering cutting through the oppressive gloom. Her words were a beacon of hope, a call to arms against the encroaching darkness. Diego, ever the adventurer, nodded with newfound determination. He stepped forward, channeling his impulsive spirit into a rallying cry, urging the children to share their tales. Their laughter rose like a phoenix from the ashes of fear. Isabella, with her deep connection to nature, closed her eyes, listening to the whispers of the past. She began to weave her own story, one of resilience and hope, her voice a soothing balm against the chaos. As she spoke, the marigolds around them seemed to bloom brighter, their golden petals reaching toward the heavens, a symbol of the enduring legacy of their culture. 